In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SAS Studio to create graphs and charts and also do some data exploration. So let's start by deciding what data set we want to work with. For most of these videos, we're going to explore the sashelp.cars data set. So let's create some graphs of the sashelp.cars data set. Now prior to this, it would be a great idea to open the data set and browse it. We showed you how to do that in another video. So let's get graphing. Under Tasks and Utilities, I'll go to the Tasks folder and then expand the Graph folder. You'll see there's lots of standard graphs that you would use to describe and display both categorical and quantitative data. I'm going to show you how to create three different graphs today, a bar chart, a histogram, and a scatter plot. So let's start with a bar chart. As you know, bar charts are used to display categorical or qualitative data and how it's distributed amongst the different levels of the data set. So let's double click on bar chart and I'll expand the view so I have more working space. I already have the sashelp.cars data set selected, but remember to select a data set, you simply click on the select a table button and choose the data set you want to work with. First, you get to decide do you want the chart orientation to be vertical or horizontal. This option sets the direction that the bars are showing on the graph. I'll keep it at vertical for now. Now we have to select the categorical variable that we want to display in the bar chart. So where it says category, I'm going to click the plus sign, and then I'm going to select the variable that I want to take a look at. Now you'll notice SAS shows you both categorical and quantitative variables on the screen. However, bar charts are usually displaying variables that have a categorical role. So in sashelp.cars, let's take a look at how the different types of cars are distributed. A car type is something like an SUV, a truck, a sports car, and so on and so forth. So I'll click on type and click OK. You can only view one categorical variable at a time in the bar chart task. Now, if you wanted to further subcategorize it, I could do that. So for example, let's say I wanted to see the distribution of the car types, but by make. So I would see how are sports cars, SUVs, etc., distributed for Chevrolet and then for Jaguar, etc. But I'll leave that alone for now. For the measure, I can have a frequency count or a frequency percent. I'll leave it at count for now. You'll also notice that you are able to group analyses by as well. I'll leave those alone. Under Appearance, I can show labels. I can even set the colors of my graphs and charts. Remember, under the Appearance tab, if you have one in your particular graph task, you can select and set a lot of different features for each bar chart or histogram or scatter plot, etc. I'll leave those at the default and I'll run the task. So here you see the distribution of the car type and the frequency at which they appear in the data set. So you'll see that sedans are by far the most common car type in the data set. And if you hover your mouse over any one of these bars, it shows you exactly the count of that particular car type. So there are 262 sedans in this data set, and there are only three hybrids in this data set. So that's pretty easy. What if I wanted to subcategorize this bar chart? Well, I can go to subcategory, add a column, and let's say I wanted to take a look at it by drivetrain. Now drivetrain is something like front wheel drive, all wheel drive, etc. So I'll click on drivetrain, click OK, and then I get to choose whether I want a clustered side by side or a stacked bar chart. That's your choice. I'll leave it at the default. I click run, and now you can see I have a clustered side by side bar chart for car type, but by drivetrain. So here you see in sedans, I have mostly front wheel drive cars. I have some rear wheel drive cars and fewer all wheel drive cars. For hybrids, I only have front wheel drive. So it's that easy to change the settings on this particular graph task. I challenge you or empower you to explore the different options for all of the tasks for bar charts, histograms, etc. You're not going to break anything, but you learn more as you explore. Okay, so that's a bar chart. Let's get back to our menu. 
And now let's try histogram. Remember, histograms are very similar to bar charts, but they're for quantitative data. So I'll double click on histogram and expand my workspace. I'll keep using the sashelp.cars dataset, and I'll pick a new analysis variable. Now you notice for histograms, SAS is only showing me the quantitative variables. So let's say I want to take a look at, oh, the distribution of the weight of every car. So I'll select weight and click OK. Again, you get to choose the scale that you want, whether it be percentages, counts, proportions, etc. You can pick additional roles, such as grouping by and setting weights of particular variables. But those are advanced options that we won't use here. Again, in the appearance, I can add all types of options for this. I can change the bin size. I can change X and Y axis settings, give the chart a title and a footnote, and change the graph size. Let's try one of these. I'm going to go to title and footnote, and I'm going to head and give this histogram a title. Let's call this weights of cars. And I can also put a footnote if I wanted to. So let's leave it as is, and let's run this task. So here you see my histogram for weights of cars and pounds, and here's my title of my histogram. So as you see, it's really easy to simply select a variable and quickly run the task. And really, you can set all the settings that you want and then rerun the task at any time. So let's say I wanted to remove this footnote. I simply delete it, and then I rerun the task. And my title is gone. All right, let's do one more. Let's go back to our workspace and let's do a scatter plot. Now remember, scatter plots are used for comparing two quantitative variables with each other to see if there may be a relationship between them. So I'll go ahead and select scatter plot and I'll expand my workspace. Still working with sashelp.cars. I'm wondering if for some reason the horsepower of a car has any relationship to the price of that car. Are more powerful cars more expensive. So my x-axis, I'll go ahead and select the variable that I think is independent. So here I'm going to pick horsepower. And I think horsepower may cause a car to be more expensive. The higher the horsepower, the more it costs. So that will go on my y-axis. I'll go ahead and pick MSRP, which is the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Now remember, you have all types of things you can set in the Appearances tab and further down on the Data tab, but I'll leave the task as is, and I'll run the task. Here I can see that I might be onto something. As horsepower grows, I'm noticing an upward trend in the price of the car. Now there are certainly some anomalies here, but in general, it looks like I might be onto something. Later on, I can perform a correlation analysis to see just how strong that relationship is. For now, I'm just creating graphs to take a look at the data. SAS Studio has all types of graphs, and I suggest that you go through all the different types of graphs and explore them and see what type of information they can give you about your data. Again, it's always a good idea to create several charts and graphs of data and to explore the data set before you actually conduct any experimental or statistical analysis on it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.